All right, today we are looking at Royal Toys. And before I forget, welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. Yeah, Royal Toy time. So this is Royal Toys, again, the city story theme. The Kowloon Restaurant, RT26, 318 pieces. So this is the newest one from them and I was super happy that they're finally starting to release these kind of sets. I think they're gonna come out with a lot more. I hope they are. Royal Toys, don't stop. This one is based on the Kowloon restaurant, like a typical tan tan hang where you sit down and you eat. It's like a cross between a fast food restaurant and a normal restaurant. I guess you could call it like a type of Denny's in a way. Yeah, that, that's my best representation that I can think of, like a diner style type thing. This one is very similar to say, Oxford Block. So if you like Oxford Block, but they're too expensive for you, it might be worth to look at something like this. I still think Oxford, hand down, has the best little small little shops. This one was fun to build really fast, but a couple of things I didn't like about it. The top here, feels a little bit incomplete. Maybe they leave that to you. If you wanna double this up, buy two of them and mock it and make a second floor, who knows? Nice small little manual. This is the sticker sheets. Yeah, it's a lot of stickers again. Big wall stickers. That might disappoint some of you guys like, uh, but you know, maybe you don't have to put them all on. I did in this case, but just so you know, there, it's very simple and easy to read, okay? Let's just look at the front here. All clear, which is nice, so you can kind of see in the restaurant there, and it actually looks nice from certain angles. The top though, yeah, that's a sticker, man. It's a neon sign. I kind of wish they used transparent or trans-clear bricks, to make it more like kind of stand out. And above the neon sign, you got these two little spotlights, supposed to shine a light down on that. But yeah, with the sticker there, it doesn't look impressive. It looks just like kind of bland. So I kind of wish they did more with that or made like a 3D thing going on. But it's probably just easier slapping a sticker on there. And on the back here, on this side of the wall, those are all stickers. It's gonna take forever to translate those, so I don't wanna bug Ida too. She'll be like, oh, I gotta translate all that. Advertising, real estate stuff. They have phone numbers on there. I dare you guys to call the phone numbers. Yeah. The back wall is open there. Wasn't quite a fan of that, but I guess it's easier to put one worker on the back there if he's working on the back counter. Plain wall on this side. The color is nice. I don't mind the color, the blue and the white. Oh, what's, the, what's sliding all over the chairs? Oh, I forgot that about the chairs. Like what was sliding all over the place? I forgot there's a couple chairs in there that are not being held down. So, you, you know, those are gonna slide everywhere. Now to get in there, you can actually take this piece off. And that's cute. Got some ceiling fans there. Thought that was a nice little idea. Now, surprisingly, all those one by four tiles on the floor, those are prints. I was like, oh cool, so it wasn't all stickers. So that's nice. Yeah, some of you pointed out in my pictures before, like they kind of don't line up with each other. Hey man, that's realism there for you. So here's the front door, you come inside. I like the back counter there. That is a big sticker along the wall. That's the whole menu. That's what a typical menu really does look like. So when you come in the front there, there's the counter. There's a little piece there that you can lift up for the figure to go inside and stand behind that counter. Along the wall, those are stickers and there's a long sticker. You see the stripe behind the counter. I do like the detail of the stickers though. It's all the wall plugs and, you know, the electrical circuit breakers there and the calendar. I probably could have put the sticker a little bit more further in because I kind of cut it off there. And then there's a the menu there, what you can buy for 22 bucks. Now behind the counter, what is nice is they actually put a one by two piece there so you can actually stand a figure on top. Yay! Now the front display, there's actually, that's cute how they did that. It's like a little window piece. It opens up and it's all the buns inside. They sell like all kinds of hot dog buns or Bolo Bao, it's the pineapple bun. That's really famous here in Hong Kong, which I might actually just go get myself one right after this. That is a nice little display there, and I'm not quite sure what they're doing with the little thing here on the side, like a white mini shelf. Doesn't attach or do anything. Then you got the seats on the side of the wall, the booths, booths. The problem with the booths there on the side is the seats are like super narrow. You can actually fit a figure in there. I'll do it in a close-up for you. They could have made that, I think, a little bit bigger on both sides. And then you got three tables in there. Those are stickers of the menu on the tables. And I think the red things are like toothpicks or sauces. You got these two chairs right here. They are loose, very simple. They're just on these little circular studs. You're supposed to place these in the center of the room. You know, have some figures sitting down right in the middle of this place. So on the side, you got two more stickers there. Menu, again, that's a lot of stuff to translate, man. But along the back wall there, Look at that big sticker. Yeah, that's gonna go over a bunch of tiles, man. So, you know, you guys might be disappointed about that. For me, I think the whole intention about this set is that 
it really is for fans of these type of themes, these Asian themes, you might be really happy putting that on, just like me. All right, below that sign, you have the back counter there. Of course, mismatched color, just like the real thing. They're always like that. So the colors are all over the place. They're not supposed to be like designer stuff, you know? You got an Valteen container there, Ovaltine, hot chocolate. Yeah, you guys like that? And I'm pretty sure those other containers are condensed milk. Make your coffee. You got a couple empty shelves there on the side. But above that, yeah, there's a little kind of secret area there. You got two cabinets. This, it's empty. They can open and close. And a couple of glasses that are just kind of stuck like storage. And two mugs there. Those are stickers, by the way. The cow on the mug, which is kind of a typical thing you do see here in Hong Kong. And that, my friends, is it for the Kowloon restaurant. Very small. Fun, I'm glad that they're doing this. And this really does remind me of like an Oxford block set. It's just a little unfortunate that it feels kind of unfinished here along the top. If they have closed that off, would it have been better? Yeah, I think so. Now it does come with figures. Let's look at them. All right, so we got four figures here. We'll look at the ladies first again. This lady here in white looks like the store owner, I think, in pink. That's what these owners actually kind of do look like. Printing looks fine again, no problems. Color, okay. Funky little hearts on her top. I like her glasses. Hair looks fine. A little bit of printing there on the back side as well. Now, this one is actually using a very soft rubber hair piece. I, sometimes that's like a hit and miss for me. They seem like they don't want to fit on the, the face and makes her face look really small. Color again, overall for her, mm, I'm not sure they match. Not my kind of colors. I do like the printing over top. That looks actually pretty okay. But yeah, the color is throwing me off on her. Then you got this guy who kind of looks like the worker. They kind of wear this white shirt when they're working in the kitchen. He's just missing the cigarette, man. He looks fine. I like the details and the little folds and the prints. That's good. And he's, his pants even has pockets printed on there. He's gonna be making you ta su sin dan fan. One of my favorite dishes. Last, you got this customer walking in. Looks like he's just went golfing with that top on. Printing on him is actually pretty okay. Looks fine. Color is okay. I like the printing that goes on both sides, like diamond shape. There's the drilling again, freaking drilling. I wait for the drilling to stop. I do like the pattern on this guy's shirt. It's on both sides too. And you got four little bowls here, dishes that are empty because everything is sold out. All right, and now a quick bonus set just for you guys. Cause I love you guys. Yes, I really do. So this is Royal Toys City Story theme again. Kind of an exclusive crossover, the Yatta Supermarket. RT 17, 209 pieces. Yo, this is super small. So Yatta is a Japanese-based supermarket here in Hong Kong. We got them all over the place. And I think the closest thing they're compared to, if you have still have this in the States, I remember they did when I was living there in California, is Yaohan, Yohan, Y-O-A-H-A-N, something like that, Yohan. Yohan fans, where you at, man? Remember Yohan? I used to remember them. We do sell this on the store, and it's kind of a fruit stall. It does look really bare. And that's because it does come with tons of accessories. I'm too lazy to make them stand up and look so nice. But there, if I scatter them around, now looks like a little bit better. So Royal Toys sells their sets in Yata Supermarket. So I figured they just probably wanted to do a crossover. Maybe I'll do a cro pick me up crossover with Royal Toys and we got a pick me up Scotty set going, yeah? That'll be pretty cool. So there it is. Very, very simple. Nothing to go crazy about unless you're a fan of the Yata brand and the supermarket, or you just want a very, very, very small fruit stall. There you go. But yeah, there are a lot of stickers on the set. The Yata sign along the top is a sticker. All the little circles are stickers. Even this is a sticker. I did a terrible job lining that up. You know, on the top here, it is a little bit fragile. They put these random plates here. I guess you could technically store a couple things up there if you wanted to. But hidden along the top, they have trans clear pieces. There's kind of like a fruit box thing there. It's kind of slanted, that's kind of cool. Got some bananas hanging there. I think I'm missing an orange somewhere and yeah, even there along the side of the wall, those are all stickers right there. That's a self-checkout counter. Hard to get the stickers on the inside of those things. And they have some sticker labels down there. Freezer bag, plastic shopping bag, and bring your own bag. Another sticker there about the fruits. And you got a very, very, very small counter. On this side is a shelf for your fruits. I think those are great, but the shelves are really thin and things will fall off really easy. And then behind the fruit basket are a couple stickers there. On this side, it's a huge sticker. Yeah, you might not want to use that sticker, but that's kind of cool. It shows the, you know, the figures actually in the real Yata supermarket. 
All right, so this is actually just a small little bonus thing for you. We do sell it. It's a nice little thing to have around. Small, man. Let's look at the figures and little accessories that come with it. So we'll start with this one because this is the funniest. She is faceless. They forgot to print her face. In fact, I think they forgot to print her body too. So, ooh, I got a one in a kind there. It's all good when you get yours. Yours should be fine. You know, these things happen from time to time. But she, she actually looks decent like that. There you go, she looks pretty. She is holding a bag. It's a briefcase, but it looks like a, like there's supposed to be the shopping bag here. And that is printed with the Yata on it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, you get a couple of those. You got this lady wearing overalls. She looks very out of place. But printing looks fine. And again, she's holding that green bag. She's going to buy some fruits. She looks like a farmer. She looks like she'd be the one bringing the fruit to Yata, but there she is. Then you got this lady dressed up with a tie. I like the polka dot look, the printing. That looks actually really nice. It's on both sides. And maybe she's the manager or she just really wants some grapes. There you go. You have three employees. You have this guy. He looks like he's the more important one because he has a more dressed up suit to him with a name tag on there. Printing looks fine. They're using the green color that goes with the Yata. I think the real staff actually wears this color. Can't remember now, but he looks okay. Ready to be at your service. Then you got this lady, same deal. Nice printing on the back, it actually says Yata. On the front, it does have like a name tag area for her. She looks very simple and plain, but that is actually kind of cool that she has the printing on the back of the, the actual shop name. So you know that this is legit. She's too legit to quit. She'll be helping you at the self checkout counter because nobody can figure those things out. Finally, you got this guy who's wearing the exact same outfit as the lady we just saw, but he is holding a sign here with a sticker on it that says Japanese Fuji apples for $23 over here. Buy over here because you can get so lost in the supermarket. You might not be able to find the apples. And there's actually three more tiles here that are stickers of strawberries. Strawberry fields forever. And they have an extra sign here with a sticker with the Yata on it. And you got another tile here, which is printed, by the way. This is the octopus card. This is like a paid cashless card that you use, keep in your wallet, and you just press the machine, and you don't need cash. Oh, they have one more tile here, which is based on Pocky. Ooh, man, that's a good-looking sticker right there. Makes me want to go get some Pocky right now. All right, so I'm going to put the figures inside the set, but just before I put the ones with the chairs in, because they're going to slide everywhere, you can see the lady there at the counter. So she has a stud there that's... Nice, she fits, just fits inside there. The guy on the back, however, is a little bit tricky to get in there, kind of slide him in, and but he does fit. I'll put the chairs inside. These guys are supposed to be sitting down like that. Yeah, if I tilt this thing sideways, they're gonna slide off there. So let's put them in the booth. There you go, that's what they look like there on the inside, sitting on the booth. They are secure in there, they're just kind of like sitting around the edge of the seats there it's kind of cool through the window like that hello everybody it does look kind of cool and for the yata supermarket i can barely get all the figures in there it's so tight inside there but i kind of put them there for you guys to see the faceless lady going to buy some goods or i slide up here closer to the camera so you can see it better yeah i just think of this like as a little bonus thing you know or maybe I might just put this into one of my empty modular buildings, take everything out and just make one area inside, like a little market area. I don't know. All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times. It's still drilling. I hope they don't drill while I'm doing this. And of course, they're drilling. You know, maybe I'll just make that the background music for this so you guys can listen to that while I'm doing this, all right? So if I back up the bus here, and I stop right here, it is past 32 studs. You're looking at 43 studs. By width, if I go, whoa! Okay, there's not enough studs on the plate to show you, but just to give you an estimate, it's around 10 studs by width. I did the measurement for ya. Now I'll put the bus here on this side of the road. I got my one by four bricks here. I stack it right here. That is 15 bricks in height. Yeah. Now let's do the other little stalls right now. So for the Kowloon restaurant here, right there, that is around 22 studs. And it's, you know, you got, I gotta include the steps here, right? So it protrudes, it sticks out there a little bit. 22 by 16. Ah, my one by four bricks are here. Pretty small. So this is kind of around nine bricks in height. Probably measures a little bit better this way here like that. Yeah. For the Yata supermarket, it is 16 by eight. There, there, a little bit flimsy. 
Now I'll break out the one by four bricks and it is the same like the Kowloon restaurant around nine bricks in height right there. So maybe you can get this one, put this one over here and put this one in front here and be like, yo, welcome to my store. So you know this wouldn't be complete without a drop test. Finally finished this video, man, I'm taking forever. Sorry to keep you guys hanging. All right, as your reward, we shall drop stuff, all right? And we're doing it all in slow motion now. You happy? Yeah, all right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All the figures are inside the bus, by the way. Oh, just the back popped off. Look at that. Characters are all still inside. We're A-OK. -okay. First floor. Let's see. Yeah, nothing fell apart. That is amazing. So this next one is the Kowloon restaurant. The chairs are going to fly, flop all over the place. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Solid. Nothing fell down. So that is good, by the way. Last, but not least, is a stall. Which, by the way, the fruits are just gonna fly everywhere, I'm telling you right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, just the fruits. There goes the orange. I'm happy these survived. So there you guys go, more royal toys for you. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. You guys are amazing. Your comments mean a lot to me. A lot of you are inspired by me. Young kids watching this channel, I'm sorry for my language. I'll try to tone it down a little bit. And sorry for the delay. Been real busy raising family right now. So I'll be back with more videos, all right? So until next time, you guys, break me out. Chilling is so irritating, it's like uh, 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 uh. Stop chilling. Why on a Sunday are you chilling? There, stop, let me talk real quick. No, just start again. And of course you get these two little chairs. <laughs> I want this to know where to go. I can put it here this time. There, oh, I'm knocking down the guy. Knocking down the lady, knocked, I just knocked all the guys down. Okay, they'll stay down. Go ahead.